Blixy Bimber grew up looking, looking for luck. If she found a horseshoe, she took it home and put it on the wall of her room with a ribbon tied to it. She would look at the moon through her fingers, under her arms, over her right shoulder, but never, never over her left shoulder. She listened and picked up everything anybody said about whether the groundhog saw his shadow. She just grew up looking for luck. Well, she was 16 years old and quite a girl, with her skirts down to her shoe tops when something happened. She was going to the post office to see if there was a letter for her from her best chum, Peter Potato Blossom Wishes, or if there was a letter from Jimmy the Flea. He was her best friend, the guy she kept steady company with. Jimmy the Flea was a climber. He climbed skyscrapers and flagpoles and smokestacks. He was a famous steeplejack. Blixie Bimber liked him because he was a famous steeplejack, but she liked him more because he was a whistler. Every time Blixie said to Jimmy, I got the blues. Whistle the blues out of me. Well, Jimmy would just naturally whistle till the blues just naturally went away from Blixie. On the way to the post office, Blixie found a gold buckskin wincher. There it lay right in the middle of the sidewalk. How and why it came to be there, she never knew, and nobody ever told her. She said to herself as she picked it up quick, Ho, ho, it's luck. And so she took it home and fixed it on a little gold chain and wore it around her neck. She didn't know. Nobody ever told her a gold buckskin wincher is different from just a plain common wincher. A gold buckskin wincher has a power. And if anything has a power over you, then you just naturally can't help yourself. So Blixie Bimber wore the gold buckskin wincher and never knew it had a power, and all the time the power was working, and secretly and silently the gold buckskin wincher was telling her. The first man you meet with an X in his name, you must fall head over heels in love with him. And that's why Blixie Bimber stopped at the post office and went back again asking the clerk at the post office window if he was sure there wasn't another letter for her. The name of the postal clerk was Silas Baxby. <laughs> and for six weeks he kept steady company with Blixie Bimber. They went to dances, hay rack rides, and the hijinks together. And all the time the power of the gold buckskin wincher was working. It was telling her secretly, silently, saying, the next man you meet with two X's in his name, you must leave all and fall head over heels in love with him. Blixie met the high school principal. His name was Fritz Axenbax. Oh, Blixie dropped her eyes before him and threw smiles at him. And for six weeks, he kept steady company with Blixie Bimber. They went to dances, hay rack rides, picnics, and hijinks together. Her relatives asked, why do you go with him for steady company? It's a power he's got, said Blixie. I just can't help it. It's a power. Well, one of his feet is bigger than the other. Oh, how can you keep steady company with him? They asked again. And all she would answer was, it's a power. All the time, of course, the gold buckskin wincher on the little chain around her neck was working. It was saying, if you meet a man with three X's in his name, you must fall head over heels in love with him. 
One night at a band concert in the public square, she met James Six Big Sticks, and there was no helping it. She dropped her eyes and threw her smiles at him, and for six weeks they kept steady company, going to band concerts, dances, hayrack rides, picnics, and hijinks together. Why do you keep steady company with him? He is a musical soup eater. And she would answer, It's a power. I can't help myself. One day, leaning down with her head in a rainwater cistern, listening to the echoes against the strange wooden walls of the cistern, the gold buckskin wincher on that little gold chain around her neck slipped off and fell down, down into the rainwater. <gasps> My luck is gone, said Blixie. And then she went into the house and made two telephone calls. One was the James Six Big Sticks telling him she wouldn't be seeing him anymore. And the other call was to Jimmy the Flea, the climber, the steeplejack. She said, oh, Jimmy, come on over here. I, I got the blues and I want you to whistle them away. And so... If you ever come across a gold buckskin wincher, be careful. It's got a power. It'll make you fall head over heels in love with the next man you meet with an X in his name. Or it will do other strange things because different winchers have different powers.